Every day, we lose 10 Pennsylvanians to the disease of opioid addiction. We are all aware of the opioid epidemic facing Pennsylvania, a public health crisis the likes of which we have not before seen. 3,500 Pennsylvanians lost their lives to addiction in 2015 alone. That means that each year, we're losing the population of Parksburg, Freeland, or Mifflinburg to the disease of addiction. And I've traveled the Commonwealth with Republicans and Democrats, and we've listened to our fellow Pennsylvanians. We've all held parents' hands as they've cried. We've hugged those in recovery who've risen above the disease, and we've heard their stories. We must address this epidemic, but how can we make the biggest difference in the short time we have left this year? First, physicians should check the Commonwealth's prescription drug monitoring program each time they prescribe opioids and other controlled substances. Second, let's prepare doctors and physicians for prescribing opioids and pain management by improving medical school and continuing education curricula on opioids. Third, let's limit the amount of opioids a patient can receive at emergency rooms to a seven-day supply with no refills. Fourth, let's require insurance companies to cover abuse deterrent opioids, similar to what they already have in Massachusetts. This will make it more difficult to abuse prescription drugs. The crisis calls on us to cast aside partisanship once again. It calls on us to reject cynicism once again. It calls on us to take action once again. Families in Philadelphia, in Brockway, in Indiana, in Allegheny County, in State College, in Mount Wolf, and all across Pennsylvania are calling on us to act. It's up to us to tackle the opioid crisis and give Pennsylvania the prosperous, healthy, and safe future we know it deserves. I look forward to a productive session and real progress towards stopping the opioid epidemic.